Johann Sebastian Bach, The Art of the Fugue, his last work, over which he died. And uh, I want to give some annotations to the integral production, video production we did with my piano class at the University of Mozarteum. Uh, the work ends unfinished and uh, there, there have been several uh, tries to finish this work. Very important is, uh, for example, Ferruccio Bosoni's Fantasia Contrapuntistica, where he ended the Bach work with the material which uh, came before. Or um, the famous pianist Trifonov, he played uh, his own version. Or David Moroni, in his edition for Hele edition, uh, completed the last few. After 30 years of practicing and thinking about, I came to the conclusion that Bach ended on purpose, where he ends. And uh, so I would like to point out some arguments for this, and uh, I'm not sure if it's convincing, but I hope uh, it will be maybe some inspiration for thinking about. Um, the autograph of this end is very clear. So. One can see it was not an old man who sat at his table and uh, his pencil fell off his hand. So it is very clear um, written and uh, very clear to be read. And um, I think that um, Bell Bach very often, after he had done some sketches, then he wrote it again to have it clean, like Voltemperiertes Klavier. And uh, here we can see there is a man who wrote this down in full power. So this would be one of my first arguments, but not very strong, I know. Um, the last fugue, it's number 14, 14th counterpoint. And uh, so the whole work has 14 counterpoints and also four um, canons, uh, which are in between. And um, in this last Counterpoint. Bach, for the first time in his life as a composer, uses his name as written music. And for this, we have to consider that in the German scale and also in the Polish scale, we have the letter H. So in English, we have just the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And uh, in uh, Italian and France, we have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. But in German and in Polish, we have um, A, H, C, D, E, F, G. So the German B is the English B flat, and the English B is the German H. So this enabled Bach to write his name and music, and it is this. It's a wonderful tema, and so it would have been very easy for Bach to use it as a kind of um, stamp in every of his works, a little bit like famous painter Albrecht Dürer, who in um, uh, the 16th century used to sign all his works with his name, A.D. Albrecht Dürer, and the year of the uh, making of the painting. And um, so, um, in fact, Dürer was the first inventor of a brand like Coca-Cola or uh, IBM or whatever. And uh, so for Bach, it would have been very easy. But in his whole life, he never used it. Uh, he used some similar uh, themes. For example, in the first book of the Voltenbrete Klavier, he used in the C sharp minor fugue, he used this tema. This is almost a transcription of B A C H, but the second interval. This is a major third, and a transposition of B A C H should have a minor third. So, if it would be a correct transposition, it would be this. But he chose this. Um, 
so it is interesting and strange that he never used it and I think he never used it on purpose because he didn't want to point out his name and uh, at the end of his life maybe it was his plan he just has a kind of business card where his name appears for the first time in his music and um, so well we know Bach was a strong believer and uh, so he has had a um, in all his works he had the thinking about belief and faith and God and uh, well with this tema Be'atziha I was always thinking it is a little bit like uh, in the Torah where um, it comes I have called you by your name you are mine and um, so Bach knew this of course all his life but then he, he uh, enters his name and he shows it in his music and uh, well the last fugue uh, counterpoint 14 um, has three themes and uh, so the title is also uh, Atre Sogetti and very interesting number 14 is um, exactly the um, uh, number of the letters of his name in alphabet so B is the second letter in the alphabet, A is the first letter, uh, and uh, C is the third, and H is eight, number eight. So in sum, we have 14 uh, as a, the number of the name of Bach. So I think this is not uh, uh, in occasion, but it is, uh, he, he really thought about it. this must be the last few. And so the three themes come, and the, the first one is this. The second is this. And after the first tema has been developed like in a normal fugue with a really also logical end, the second tema is uh, introduced. And during this, it's also almost a complete own fugue, they begin a di dialogue first and second theme. And when this comes to an end, well, the work could easily finish there, then comes the Arziha. And um, so if you see the Thema, the Arziha, and also in his, this, uh, its transpositions, it comes 12 times. And uh, from this 12 times, two, versions are in the so-called inversion, so like a, in a mirror. Um, this is a kind of um, uh, construction which the Baroque musicians use and uh, so uh, giving the opposite of the composed intervals, for example if you have this, then the opposite is going up. Or this. Um, so it is like really a mirror and uh, the intervals uh, are reflected. And twice this version comes among the last 12 or the 12 entrances of uh, the Thema B.A.C.H. And well, there are two editions, the first print which ends um, in the dominant in uh, A major and it is, uh, this is the end. Um, 
this was also the first print. So uh, very interesting in the wonderful version of Glenn Gould, uh, Glenn Gould ends here. And until there, um, so the Thema BACH uh, included uh, two inversions, has occurred uh, 11 times. But in the second printed edition, there are seven bars more. And here in the seven bars more, all three themes come together in their original key, in their original writing, and in the complete lengths. So um, it starts with the second tema. This is the last note which is composed. Only the end would miss. So this is the complete second tema in original, and it is accompanied first by the first tema. And inside this comes the B A C H. Together, it sounds like this. So, this is a perfect moment of composing three themes in dialogue. And Interesting, this end are seven bars, and it is the twelfth time that the BACH is introduced. And so I thought, well, we have three themes we have the number 12, we have the number 7. Uh, these are all biblical uh, numbers. Imagine the seven angels, imagine. Uh, the twelve disciples of Jesus, or the twelve tribes of Israel. Uh, we have three themes. So we have, um, in Christian faith, we would have uh, the Holy uh, Trinity. And um, in Jewish belief, we have um, God and people and land, Eretz Israel. And uh, so, also here, this 3, 7, and 12, in full length, in original uh, key, I can't believe that this is on, uh, just uh, accidentally, and uh, that really Bach here ended uh, uh, by uh, breaking down at his table and, and finishing. And uh, I very often thought about this, and I thought there must be, there must be an idea why he, he did this. And at least I came to uh, the letter uh, of uh, St. Paul to the Corinthians, which is a very famous uh, uh, letter. And uh, by the way, uh, Johannes Brahms used texts fr from this uh, letter to the Corinthians for his uh, Vier Ernste Gesänge, so his almost last work, Opus 121. And uh, there is one section which is very important and we also use it for funerals uh, sometimes to comfort the people and um, there is written we now see through a mirror uh, and but then we will see face to face uh, now i understand in parts but then i will fully understand and i thought well, face to face to God, how could a composer ever compose this? It would and it is impossible. And uh, it reminds also uh, on Moses uh, being at the burning bush, where God says to him, don't come nearer, because if you see me, you must die. And uh, so 
this is out of our human um, understanding and also out of our human possibility to show this in art, either in music or in literature or, or in painting. Uh, so if you come to this point, you must stop. Bach couldn't compose uh, face to face. And um, then also this ending means uh, now we understand in parts. And in this Kunst der Fuge, Art of the Fugue, Bach showed all the possibilities of counterpoint uh, composing. And he has done everything what is possible. But there he has to stop. And as he was a faithful man, I'm sure that he uh, planned to stop there. And so at least it is his business card or visit card. Here is my name. You have called me by your name, here I am. And uh, again and again I think about this. Uh, three themes in original, in the whole length, in uh, dialogue, 12th time of uh, B.A.C.H. and seven bars. Uh, and so in this I see the end of the fugue. 